Hello, in this assembly video, I am going to cover how to create strings, how to use them. So in your data section, you want to create some sort of string. I'm going to call it str1, and you put db. Now you put the actual string itself, and I'm going to say, hello, everyone. And then, and then I'm going to put comma 10. I'll explain what this means in a second. So what we're going to do is print here, so we're going to move EAX, I've covered this in a separate video, all of this, I just wanted to do a dedicated video for a string and explain that a bit more. So for moving the EBX register, I'll be moving one into there, and then the EFX register, we'll move STR1, and if we run that, we don't get anything, because we need a length, so if I do move EDX, and the length, so if I was to like put four, for example, two, I need to run the kernel for ATH. There we go. So we get how. So we need how many characters is there? There's not the quotation marks, the five, there's ATF 13 plus the space character 13, 14, so 14. Okay, that's great. Uh, so there's one little problem here. It's not really a problem. It's just an inconvenience. If I let's say hello everyone Welcome for example I'll just print that out. I have to update the length accordingly because that's an extra two You know, that's an extra or seven then so I would have to update that you know plus nine So 23 that will print it all out. That's not very convenient. What we can do is dynamically calculate the length so we can say stl one len and EQU, you calculate it by doing dollar dash, then the name of the string, so str1, and if you specify that here now, it prints it out. And if we just do that, it prints it out. And if we was to put loads of other random characters, it prints it out as uh, well. Okay, so the next one I want to discuss is what this comma tennis like what is it so if i get rid of it you know everything runs fine my thinking do we even need it let me show you what happens if i was to print this out again or you know something out again it doesn't really matter what it is it's on a different line why if i do this oh they're on the same line what happened you may already you know have an idea what's going on here. If we put 65, we get the letter A there. So what this does is it allows you to insert basically an ASCII character after the string. And the value 10, if we go to the ASCII table, is the nine feed character. Basically, it means just go to you know the next line. So that's just a great way of separating stuff out. 65 is where the alphabet starts with uppercase A. Like if we were to put 64 here instead, we'll get the at symbol. So that's what the 10 does. It's not required. And the great thing about it is it's not part of the string, therefore, it's not factored in for the length. But it's a great way of adding something extra. Okay, so that's really it for strings. You can actually do some operations like the mobs operation, the lods operation, you know, for prefixes, etc. What I want you to do as an extra task is take a look at that. If you have any questions, you need some help, feel free to reach me and, you know, pop me a message. As usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.